For a country like Australia, uh, a, a very strong and dominant air force is an absolutely critical capability in our region. We can certainly have the most dominant and most powerful air force if we invest in high technology capabilities. Growler should give us the tactical edge to get the very best out of the current systems that we've got and for them to work together better. The Growlers really complement our air combat capability. Our legacy fighters, our uh, Super Hornets yeah, and our JSFs, they'll all be uh, a lot more lethal uh, when you have a Growler up there in support. To win a battle in the air, on the land or on the sea, you've actually got to get control of the electromagnetic spectrum and that's what Growler's going to do for us. The key role with AEA, so Airborne Electronic Attack, is really about protecting your ability to have freedom of manoeuvre and freedom of decision making and denying it for the enemy. We get to leverage the decades of experience that the US Navy has got uh, in electronic attack that we just don't have in Australia and so we can try and leapfrog up to that level of capability as soon as we get our aircraft delivered. Plan Jericho is about actually integrating all our platforms so that we can share information but it's also about innovative use of the new platforms that we've got. Growl is the perfect asset for that and it's because Growler is not there for itself. Growler is there to provide a service to others. So we call them protected entities. We'll be able to talk better, we'll be able to share information better, and we'll be able to you know, affect our enemy a lot better. It's going to change the game for us, and it's pretty exciting for us. When we have the Growler capability, we really do have a full spectrum force. In many respects, it's the final piece in the jigsaw puzzle for the Royal Australian Air Force.